Hey guys, Rob from Harmony here, and in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to play guitar and sing at the same time. In the sunshine when she's gone It's not warm when she's away No sunshine when she's gone and This house just ain't no home Anytime she goes away And I know, 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 I know Gonna leave there thing alone And no sunshine when she's gone Sunshine when she's gone. So it's a fact of life that doing two things at the same time can sometimes be very tricky. Playing guitar and singing are difficult enough on their own, never mind doing them at the same time. But how do people do it? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a breakdown as to my approach. And I'm going to give you a nice four step process which will help you develop your coordination and your muscle memory so that you can play and sing at the same time. What I aim to do is break it down into small achievable steps that in the end will come together to give you that ability. I want you to bear in mind that each stage is going to be broken into three parts. The strumming hand, the fretting hand and the voice. Let me go into further detail as to what I mean. Stage one, isolate. We're going to start with the strumming hand and we're going to stick with the song I just performed, Ain't No Sunshine. I'm just going to try and find the rhythm here. I'm going to get the rhythm into my strumming hand and it's really, really important during this isolate phase to find that feel, find the pulse of the song and let that fill your body. For me, that's the most important part. If you can get that feel, if you can trust your body and trust your musical ear to guide you, you're one step ahead because you're not over processing and overthinking. So the first thing you need to do is try and find the pulse and the rhythm in your strumming hand. trying to feel that pulse and just focus in on what your strumming hand is doing. Once that's fairly comfortable, ignore that for a second and move on to your fretting hand. You're going to do the same thing and you're just going to move those chord shapes. So for this song we're using an A minor, an E minor and the G, just standard chords. You're going to play the changes and try and keep them in time, feeling that pulse. So uh, change, change, change. Sounds great, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, change, change, change. Okay, once you have that, move on to the voice. Try singing the song on its own, but it's really important, again, to feel that pulse. So if you can sing it a cappella. Uh, in no sunshine when she's gone. Uh, uh, uh. It's not warm when she's away. Ba, ba, ba. In the sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't no home So on and so forth Until you feel you have a steady rhythm If you're really struggling sticking to a beat This is where that really handy tool, the metronome, comes in So get your metronome, set it to a nice slow tempo And let that drive you Let that guide you through As you begin to feel the rhythm of whatever song you can do. Like I say, we're using A No Sunshine for this example, but you can apply these steps to anything you're doing. Stage two. Stage two is to automate all of those things that we've just done. So again, start with your strumming hand, and as you start to find that rhythm, 
try and keep it whilst holding a conversation. Ba, da da ba, da da ba, da da ba. In no sunshine when she's gone. And you can try and hold that feel as you explain a YouTube video and try not to mess up for the people watching. I think I did that right, but you get the point. You can do it whilst watching TV. Do something that distracts you. And when you can keep that rhythm and let the brain think about something else, you know that's automated and that's going to give you a massive advantage going into playing these parts together. Do the same with your strumming hand and the same with your voice. Watch TV and sing through the song as you're watching. Your brain will be focusing on two things and you'll be developing that automation, that subconscious process to sing through or play through the song. Step number three and step number three is to combine all of those elements. So begin with strumming hand, fretting hand, and see if you can get that nice steady pulse. Again, it's all about the feel. If you're not feeling that pulse, you're not gonna be able to play this song. Internalize that rhythm, internalize that beat, and you're gonna get great results. Get that feel. Again, if you're struggling with your internal metronome, get a metronome on, set it nice and slow, and let it keep that beat. Until you can stick to that beat, you're gonna keep repeating this step. Once you've got that feel, once you're in there, add the voice. When you add the voice, you don't have to start belting out that song straight away. You can speak in rhythm, something like this. sunshine when she's gone it's not warm when she's away ain't no sunshine when she's gone she's always gone too long anytime she goes away applying the voice like that will help get that rhythm, it will help build that coordination and you're not having to focus 100% on making your voice sound great. It's small stages, baby steps that are going to come together and help you play and sing at the same time. Once you're comfortable with that rhythmic speaking, it's time to start singing. Again, everything should be internalized and automated. You should be feeling your way through the song, not thinking your way through the song. Easier said than done, but be patient, Practice that metronome, give it time, play all day, play while watching TV, and your body will start to learn. You'll develop that muscle memory and that coordination. Until you can do something like this. In no sunshine when she's gone. It's not one way when she's away. Step number four is my favorite stage of the whole thing. Just when you think you've got the song, when you're playing that nice, steady rhythm, when you're belting out the song in time and it's starting to feel good, I want you to rip the song apart and start to play with it. Not play it, play with it. Change the timing, change the feel, ad lib, add a held section, like I was doing in my original demonstration. Learn it the way we've said until you can play that song and you're comfortable. But once you're there, it's not the end. To really internalize that song and finish off that learning process, you need to shred the song apart, riff it, add your own flair, make it yours and bring it back. Once you can do that step, you can truly play and sing at the same time. All right then guys, I hope you found that four stage process really helpful. Here are some extra tips, some general rules as to when you're learning to play and sing together. First off, keep it simple and keep it slow to begin with. Don't start by learning something super complicated and syncopated like a Stevie Wonder tune, Sir Duke, Master Blaster, Superstition. Maybe start with something a little more simple, something country, three chords. Ain't No Sunshine is a great example because you don't have to sing and play at the same time to begin with. 
I'll leave a list of beginner songs down below, things that I recommend you start with. Once you've got them down, build it gradually. Don't go from Ain't No Sunshine one day to Little Lion Man by Mumford & Sons the next. There's somewhere in between where you should work and just develop that muscle memory. The more time you put in, the better results you will have. Which leads me on to my second rule, be patient. If you try and rush through this process, the results you get at the end won't be the best possible. Step number three, rule number three I should say, use a metronome. Don't be afraid to get that click track, get that metronome going and force yourself to feel that beat and lock in. Anyway guys, I hope you found that helpful. Leave in the comments below your top tips for playing and singing at the same time. And if there's anything in particular you're struggling with or you want me to talk about, leave it in the comments below and that will fuel my future videos so that the content really helps you guys. If you are enjoying the content on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a video. And if you are struggling with your singing, your guitar playing, your drumming even, music theory, have a look at the link below. Head to the Harmony website. We have beginner courses for all these topics, which will be a great start for you guys, you beginners out there who are just starting out on your instrument. As always guys, keep on singing and now playing and I'll see you here next week.